good week of practice so far here in Westwood, and the guys will be off tomorrow, and then we'll head up to San Francisco tomorrow, and uh, Monday afternoon we get there, we'll do a little walkthrough, team run, kind of shake it out, and then get into our normal routine on Tuesday, and uh, uh, you know, try to lock in and be focused and razor sharp for the game on Saturday against what's a really good Nebraska team. When you watch them on film, um, they're very impressive. I think you have to throw the record out and recognize that uh, you know eight of their games were decided by eight points or less. They beat one of the teams playing in the Final Four. Uh, they had a really tough schedule and they, they play well. So it's a great challenge for us. I think our guys are excited. We had a great week here and go up there and enjoy some of the festivities, but really just lock in on trying to play our best on Saturday night at 620. How's Noel doing? He's, uh, well, he came out here that one day, which he probably shouldn't have, uh, but he's a typical football coach, and uh, he's doing okay. I think he has a doctor's appointment on Monday morning here, and then hopefully he can get up to San Francisco. Might have to go by car, but we'll see. We'll play it by ear. I mean, the most important thing now is just his health, and, uh, you know, that's a serious deal that he has, so probably pushed it a little bit, which is typical. And, uh, but I don't think there's any setbacks. We just got to make sure we're really careful with that. I don't want to play with that at all. Do you expect him to be able to call plays in the bowl at this uh, point? I don't know. I, I really haven't been able to dissertain whether or not he's going to be able to. The doctors don't know. It's kind of you know touch and go right now. I, my gut feeling is that he will be able to. Uh, so we'll see. If he doesn't, would it be Kennedy or I'm Taylor? Gonna, it'd be me. I'll call him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, you know, we, we're still working through all that. It would be a collaboration, but I think Noel will be okay. Uh, we'll see. We might just let Josh call. Who knows? <laughs> or Jake. We'll see. We'll figure it out. We, we got a plan. We just don't We don't know which way we'll go yet. I, like I said, I hope Noel can play. Even if he has to call him, even if he has to sit in the press box, you know, we talked about that as an option as well where he can kind of be away from the you know the emotion of the whole thing and uh, and still call it so how's this day every year the last practice for seniors where they're carrying them off it's bittersweet you know for me especially this year because this is a lot of these guys are my first recruiting class and so uh, uh, it's just different you know yeah you, you, I'm sure it's bittersweet for the players too it's uh, kind of a melancholy feeling you know uh, I'm gonna miss those guys you know and uh, They've contributed a lot to this program, and if we can go out and take care of business on Saturday and somehow find a way to get a win, they'll have won more games over four years than any any group in UCLA history. So that, to me, is quite an accomplishment for them, and uh, uh, I think they've set the foundation for a lot of great things to come, and I appreciate them greatly. Jake said he wants to show scouts that he can play some guard too. You know, how does how do you think his skills translate um, to, to moving to guard potentially? It's not going to happen in this game, I can promise you that. So he's going to have to do that at the uh, Shrine game or the NFLPA game. Or if he, right now, he's a, he's a first alternate to get into the Senior Bowl. So hopefully, you know, I'm pushing for that to happen. Um, you know, the thing about Jake is he's incredibly intelligent and he does have versatility. I think the fact that he's been such a good center and he's been so dependable, you know, playing this will be his 52nd start and uh, he's only missed one game in his career. Uh, I think he's a guy that has a lot of value at the next level because he can probably play all three inside spots without a lot of practice. And so, you know, when you're in an NFL team, so only suits up seven offensive linemen for a game. So, you know, you'll have three tackles and you'll have three inside or four inside guys. And so that that third inside, fourth inside guy has to be able to play either guard and center. And I think Jake can do that because they don't suit up. They suit up seven offensive linemen. It's rare to suit up eight offensive linemen for an NFL game. How's Kenny Lacey? He practiced yesterday and today, so uh, hopefully he's better. We've been getting um, some other guys some work in there as well, just in case, but I hope, he, I hope he's able to play. I think he'll be able to. He's a lot better today. Did you have an opportunity for a young guy's scrimmage? Yeah, we did. We had a young I should let you guys in for it. We had a young guy's scrimmage. We ended the whole thing with a young guy's scrimmage, and we made the quarterbacks live, which was a first for us. <laughs> and. Uh, it was good, and we ended it with a goal line, and uh, the defense came up with a fourth and one stop. Actually uh, caused a fumble and ran it back for a touchdown, so it was pretty good. It was fun. I mean, they get excited about that, uh, reward those guys for all the hard work that they do on the service teams. And it was fun. Guys get excited about it. So. Among the guys that, that redshirted this season, are there any guys that stood out in terms of their development? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'll tell you that Rick Wade really stood out. 
who's going to be a really good football player. He could play defensive end or tight end. Keyshawn Lucier South um, really stood out. Colin Samuels really stood out. Uh, Andre James really stood out. Um, trying to think of other guys, but maybe Joshua Boko. Uh, Andre James and those guys I mentioned really stood out. Yeah. Josh, Josh came along, but just, you know, someone that really jumped out at you, it was yeah. more those four, you know, those three on defense and those four overall that really, like, caught your eye. And then we'll see what the ruling will be on Josh Woods. We're still working on that. Um, and if he's a redshirt, then he stood out as well. <laughs> <laughs> he's gained, he's 227 pounds now, I think, and he came in, I think, 202. And it's solid weight. He looks great. Keyshawn's gained, he's almost, I think he's 230. He looks great. Uh, Colin Samuels is, you know, he was named the scout team player of the year uh, at our banquet. He looked great. Uh, and a lot of guys have done done good work in the weight room and out on the field. So, yes, with, with grades having come in, are there any guys who are not going to be able to make the, the trip up to the bowl game? Uh, uh, yep, there are. I well, think there's more. Yeah. I can tell you who. <laughs> I just don't like yeah. to. I don't like to do that publicly. That's just not my style. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with those coaches that announce suspensions and announce grades and stuff like that. I don't need, there's no reason for me to embarrass a kid. I'm not gonna do it.